We're going to talk about the uh, short story Nightfall written by Isaac Asimov. It's one of the most famous short stories in science fiction. Voted, I believe, best short story of all time in science fiction. Even better than Cold Equations. Um, it was written in 1941. And uh, in fact, until quite recently, I think no astronomer would say that it was a very realistic story. But um, today we, we would say something different because... Uh, one of the most exciting things in astronomy recently has been the discovery of planets around other stars. And we now know of thousands of planets orbiting other stars. And in fact, we even know of planets that are orbiting binary stars and even uh, triple star systems. You remember in Star Wars, uh, when Luke's growing up on Tatooine, he's looking at the sunset, he sees the two stars setting. Well, Nightfall is an extreme example of this with a planet orbiting six stars. And uh, that leads to a very strange situation where uh, it's never dark out. And, but that's not all the time. Every cycle, every thousands of years, something very bizarre happens. And so the humans in the story are prey to the astronomical activity, and it affects the culture very, very drastically. So one aspect of the story I'd like you to think about is the way in which the epigraph from Emerson is used to sort of springboard into this way in which nature defines and shapes uh, a human culture with somewhat tragic results. This uh, story by Asimov is, I think, deservedly considered to be a classic, but if you don't understand astronomy, you are going to be affected the same way that some of the more ignorant characters are. In this story, I'd like you, of course, to think about the title, but also think about, in this case, the characters' names. Some of the characters have some very unusual names, and think about what Asimov was trying to communicate through that. But I think you'll enjoy reading this story, and you might ask yourself, would I react in the same way to this astronomical event? I'd like you to think about the things you learned about the motions in the sky and eclipses when you're reading this story. Uh, it's all about these six stars. Think of if the Earth had six suns rising and setting at different times and also having a moon which can eclipse uh, these suns. And so they get this one situation that happens only, I think, every 6,000 years where all of the suns have set and the other, except for one sun, which gets eclipsed by this moon, and, uh, and then, of course, uh, bad things happen. But the other thing I'd like you to think about, and we, we're going to discuss, is the interaction between the scientists and the non-scientists, and in fact, how this uh, information is being communicated between the scientists and the general public. And that's something that has very real applications today.